Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie Handmade and another tutorial. Today we will be working on this solid granny square bucket hat. So let's go over our tools. I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and some stitch markers. You're only going to need at least one stitch marker. I will be using this royal blue um, category for yarn. Um, it normally use it with a 5.5 millimeter hook. And I'm also going to be using this forest green, the hunter green, sorry. Um, it is also a category four. So go ahead and get started. And we're going to start off with our blue as this is our main color. I'm going to make our uh, final swatch here, which is the blue one. I'm going to go ahead and do a slip knot. And we're going to go ahead and chain up five. Now, if you want to, you can use a magic circle if you want. But I'm just going to use a simple chain five. Then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the very first chain that you made. If I can get it to act right. Okay, so now we slip stitch and you're going to chain four. Let's go ahead and make our first double crochet. Make sure you're keeping that tail tucked in and you're crocheting that in as you go along. That's our first double crochet. We're going to make another double crochet. That first chain does not count as a double crochet. We're going to make our third double crochet. Go ahead and we're going to chain two this will be our first corner now we're going to go back in with another double crochet we're going to do three more double crochets this is the last double crochet and then we're going to go ahead and chain two do another cluster of double crochets another cluster of three this is the first one and our last one and you go ahead and we're going to chain up two again on this one so so far we have two corners and our last cluster of double crochets three of them and three and then now we're going to slip stitch into the third chain um, from that very first chain that you made now we're switching colors so we're going to go ahead and switch into that green as you can see I did not snip off the blue I kept the blue um, fastened on there I did not cut it off we're going to go ahead and move the blue out of the way and add our green. And just pull that yarn through there and go ahead and make a slip stitch and chain three. Now we're going to go into this next double crochet with a double crochet. In the next two, we're going to double crochet one time in the next two and this last time in this third one now we're going to go ahead and go into our last corner this is the first double crochet for that last corner here's the second one we're going to go ahead and chain two and add two more to this cluster here Now slide your yarn over and go into that first double crochet. I'm going to do one double crochet into each stitch all the way across until we get to that next cluster. That next corner. So we're going into that corner now with our first double crochet. Here's our second double crochet. Chain two. 
and two more double crochets into this next cluster continue on with one double crochet into each stitch across until you get to your next corner one double crochet in each stitch across till you get to your next cluster that's our final double crochet we're going to go ahead and go into our last corner putting the last two double crochets into that corner into that cluster And continue on with a single crochet into single with a double crochet excuse me into each across this is our last double crochet and from here we are going to add another cluster so this will be our final cluster for this section once we're done with this cluster we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that third chain from the previous row now let's go ahead and slip stitch As you can see, we have all corners. Now we're going to change our color to the blue yarn. As you can see, I do not snip off the yarn. It just makes it easier to grab it and continue on without having to do some extra work. And we'll snip this off, these off when we're done. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch with that blue into that third chain from the previous chain. Make sure your yarn is good and tight. Everything comes together. Go ahead and chain three. And go into that first double crochet. And double crochet all the way across until you get to your first corner, your first cluster. If I'm going too fast, you can slow this down in the settings. I will be doing another tutorial for this uh, granny square, uh, for this solid granny square. We're going into that first cluster, that first corner, with our two double crochets, chain two, and add two more double crochets to that same corner, to that same cluster. Go ahead and double crochet all the way across, one double crochet all the way across until you get to your next corner now you don't have to use the same colors that I am using you can use different colors you can use all one colors it is completely up to you this is an order um, that I received and he likes blue and green so I went ahead and used this navy blue and this uh, forest green so we're going to go ahead and go into that next corner to do that cluster. There's your first double crochet. There's your second double crochet into that corner. Chain two and add two more double crochets to that corner again. And basically you're just doing the same steps over and over again. You do your single, your one double crochets across until you get to your next cluster, your next corner. And then you add two double crochets to that corner, chain two, and add another two double crochets. And just repeat this pattern until you have as many rows as you want. I'm only doing four rows of um for the hat for each swatch because this person's head is not that big so it only requires four rows for each swatch going ahead into that next corner with a double crochet another double crochet chain two 
and then add two more double crochets to this cluster. One double crochet all the way across and you can skip this part if you want to it's completely up to you or slow it down if I'm going too fast as I said before I am going to make a slower tutorial of how to make this solid granny square so I'm going to keep going around with this and continuing this pattern remember this is my last swatch this is the last um, swatch that I have to do for that uh, for the five swatches that I need so I'm in my last cluster here I'm going to go ahead and make my two double crochets chain two and make two double crochets all four double crochets go into that one cluster Now some single one double crochet in the last two double crochets from the previous row and go ahead and slip stitch into that first into the third chain from the previous row and chain three. So now we're going to stay with this color and use our make our final row. I'm only making four rows, four rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with this blue without switching back to the green and make my double crochets across until I get to that first cluster. Okay, so now I am on my final row. I just passed over that last cluster and now I'm adding my double crochets to each double crochet from the previous row and that is it so we have our four rows of double crochets now I have my swatches laid out here in the order I want them to go you want to have three in the middle one at the top and one at the bottom and we're going to start weaving these together so you want to put the wrong ends together make sure that they're lined up and we're going to start weaving them together make sure that you have both of the wrong sides together I'm going to go ahead and start crocheting here. So I'm going to go into this first cluster here and make a single crochet into this first corner. I'll make another one, another single crochet, one single crochet. That first one was a slip knot. Now we're going to go into each double crochet in the front and the back and make a single crochet. And you're going to do this all the way across. More uh, invisible. This right here is just a draft. So I'm going to continue all the way across till I get to this end. Get to that uh, next cluster. Um, I just want to show you what it looks like so far. It has a bit of a seam right here in the middle. So we're just going to continue working our way all the way up. So now I'm at the end of the row. And now I'm headed into my... Uh, next a cluster so this is where we go ahead and attach the top portion of the hat you don't want to continue crocheting on when you get to this next cluster you want to go ahead and incorporate that other swatch so I'm going to do a quick uh, single crochet into there I'm going to do one more single crochet so that's two single crochets into that 
uh, cluster right in the middle and then I'm going to go ahead and continue on with my single crochets okay so we are headed over I just wanted to show you what it looks like before I get to the end of the row and we're going to go ahead and continue on with those single crochets all the way across you're going to do this for each of your panels so when you get to your next panel when you get to your next swatch you will go ahead when you get to your next corner excuse me you will go ahead and incorporate the side panel so right now we're working on the top portion of this hat and then next we're going to work on the side panel of the hat panel is connected the side panel and the top panels and now I'm going to go ahead and add the side panels to that and it's the same process you're just going to go into that corner go ahead and make two single crochets incorporating that side panel make two single crochets into that corner another single crochet do not forget your second crochet, your second single crochet. I completely forgot that one, but I'm going into the next stitch with my single crochet and just work your way all the way across again till you get to the other end of your swatch. Now we're going to work our way into that bottom panel here. As you can see, they're all connecting the way that they're supposed to. Everything is lined up very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so that I can finish that last panel. And again, we're just doing the same thing. We're going to go ahead and put two single crochets into that corner of the panel that cluster and just go ahead and make our single crochets all the way across so i am incorporating that bottom piece if i can get it to act right and straighten itself out okay so now I'm going into that corner piece with a single crochet and again put two single crochets in the corner section. Don't do what I just did and miss it. Put two single crochets in that cluster in that middle in the, in the side corner there. So now I'm going in with some more single crochets. Okay, so now we're at the point where we want to go ahead and incorporate all of our panels here. And when I get to each corner, I'm going to show you how we fix that. So I want my edge, I want my brim to be a green color. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this out for my green. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick single crochet into that stitch right there. And I'm going to put another single crochet into the stitch right there. That, I'm sorry, into that corner stitch, that cluster. So all the way around, we're just going to do a simple single crochet all the way around into each stitch. And then when we get to the corner, I'll show you how to take care of this corner portion. So that will be incorporated in there without having such a big gap. So let's continue on from there. And when I come back, I will be at this stitch right before the end. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this last single crochet of this row. And I'm going to show you how to incorporate it into that cluster section of your hat so we can bring everything together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into that very first stitch. When we made, when we joined our edges together, we're going to go into the very first stitch. And I'm actually wrong right here. This is not the correct stitch, but I'll figure it out eventually. But I'm gonna we're going our goal is to go into that stitch that comes right after that single crochet, which is the cluster, that V cluster stitch that we have as we're making our granny stitch. So now I'm in the right pocket, and you can tell because it slips right through like it's supposed to. I'm just pulling a little tighter because my lead yarn got a little loose, and go ahead and make a single crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and continue on and make my way into that very first crochet of that next 
panel and just keep going around as you go around it's going to bring everything together these signal crochets are good to lining everything up we're at the end and i'm going to go ahead and mm -hmm. slip stitch into this first stitch here and continue on so now we're at the point where we want to go ahead and increase our stitches as we go along so that we can begin making the brim of the hat actually this is not the increase we're going to go ahead and change up our stitch and we're going to back loop we're going to single crochet in the back loop of each of these stitches um you go ahead and go into the first stitch of the row and do a single crochet in the back loop i do have a tutorial um showing you how to single crochet in the back loop of your project so i'm just showing you the front and the back of that single crochet loop from the previous row and you're just going to simply go into that single crochet in the back loop and just make another single crochet and this is the portion of our brim, brim where after this we're going to begin to increase we're at the end of another row let's continue on increasing i'm going to go ahead and do that slip stitch into that section into that first single crochet yarn over i'm uh, make a single crochet a slip stitch and chain one <laughs> and then go ahead and make a single crochet into that same stitch go all the way across so that was one two three oh wait let me fix that that's two three four five six seven and in your eighth stitch we're going to put two single crochets into the same stitch so we'll just continue that all the way around. We'll do a single crochet into seven stitches. As, and then uh, in your eighth stitch, we'll go ahead and put two single crochets. This brim is completely your taste. Um, you, It's all up to you and how far you're out you want it to go and how wide you want your brim to be. So the shorter the brim, the less increases you will do or not an increase at all. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this yarn through here. And I want to thank you for watching this tutorial with me today and learning how to make a granny square bucket hat. I'm going to have a new, another tutorial on how to make a granny square. It will be separate from this tutorial. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and see you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.